The Netherlands is a densely populated country where space is at a premium. Business, the environment, agriculture and nature all strongly influence each other. The map is a convenient tool to help coordinate the use of the available space. A digital map can be used to combine information from the government, businesses and citizens, allowing for a greater understanding of various situations and plans. In 2015, an optimum balance will be achieved between sustainable agricultural production and sustainable countryside management. ICT and geotechnics have ensured that a range of different values can be properly balanced. The agriculture sector is now healthy, its production optimized and sustainable while maintaining the national ecological network and the distinctive countryside. This has made the Netherlands the first country in which the agricultural sector has been awarded the international sustainability label. Intensive structured cooperation between government and businesses has made it possible to combine earning a maximum profit from sustainable agriculture with sustainable countryside management. One example of how the map has been applied successfully is the establishment of a robust ecological corridor between the Utrecht Hill Ridge and the Veluwe. The Apple Estate is located on the narrowest part of the corridor. The projection for the ecological corridor shows there is no room for agriculture. But this would also threaten the agricultural management of the historic landscape of traditional small holdings, or Kampen. In addition to the requirements of the National Ecological Network, the anti-desiccation measures of the water authorities have a part to play as well. The designation of so-called top areas, areas where desiccation is a cause for concern, also has far-reaching consequences for agriculture. To ensure that the Apple estate could enjoy an ecologically and financially sound future, the current situation was mapped out, taking account of all the characteristics. Precisely because the information was available in this way, the owner, the provincial authority and the countryside management service were able to take important decisions within a short time span. The various pieces of legislation regarding nature, the environment, the countryside and agriculture have been carefully attuned to one another and made available through digital maps. Laws, schemes and subsidies can be accessed through a central online service. For instance, it's now very simple to register a plot of land for the Vogelweide regeling. The Ministry carries out its checks directly and the adjustment is recorded in the register. The system is then aware of the conditions and applies them in its further operations. When a plot of land is fertilized, online modules are used, drawing together information from satellite maps and details of soil conditions, analysis results and previous toxins to arrive at a basic recommendation. Biomass measurements inform the crop farmer about the condition of the plot. Differences within the plot can be highlighted by drawing comparisons between measurements for different months. For instance, differences may arise if, in previous years, the plot was used to cultivate different crops. This information is used to compile a fertilization schedule. A legislative service assesses the maximum toxins permitted under the current regulations. All the information is then available to control the slurry spreader. Using GPS, the slurry spreader applies a precisely regulated quantity of nitrate. In addition to the rules on nitrates, the map also displays information about the natural environment. For instance, the location of meadow bird nests is recorded. A signal is given when the tractor comes within 10 meters of such a nest, so that the crop farmer can steer the tractor around it manually. The system will then retake control of the steering. The system is also used to select pesticides. The statutory list of pesticides gives recommendations on crop spraying based on the individual plot, cultivation, any damage identified and levels of other diseases. The crop farmer will then select the most economical substance and register it in his cultivation record. This record is also linked to the food safety certificates as input for the study group and as real-time data for research institutes.
The system also gives access to the regulations on countryside management. Details such as the fact that cows graze on a particular plot during summer, that it contains a wooded bank or a row of pollard willows are included and are known to the system. Countryside plots are combined in spatial terms with the production plots needed by cattle farmers to grow fodder plants. The enormous quantity of information available and the real-time link in particular have given a boost to the actors in the green environment. Businesses have commissioned knowledge institutes to develop new models and the new insights gained have prompted a second green revolution, culminating in precision agriculture. Both the know-how and technologies involved are now being exported by Dutch entrepreneurs to other countries all over the world. The fact that applications, registration and the implementation of schemes have been automated has allowed the government to become smaller and more efficient when it comes to carrying out monitoring and checks. Many checks are now conducted by automated means and they can be monitored more easily. The registration and exchange in respect of geographic locations has sparked an information and data explosion. That information is also available more quickly and is much more detailed. Knowledge institutes are working to analyze the new data, to develop new calculation models and to link the data to them. The greater quantity of real-time information has led to a complete revision of the advisory modules and of the service provided. Competition has developed to see who can most successfully incorporate the greatest volume of data into recommendations that are suitable for individual agricultural entrepreneurs. This competition encourages continuous innovation, earning the Netherlands a leading position in research into sustainable global food production. ICT and geotechnics have given the water authorities a good picture of cultivated areas around watercourses. There are risk maps to highlight areas where it would be desirable for businesses to be consulted. Entrepreneurs are now required to take a much more dynamic approach to managing their operations. Sustainable countryside management and sustainable agricultural production go hand in hand with running profitable businesses. More complex issues are resolved more quickly and coordination with the government has reduced the regulatory burden to a minimum. This approach has become a catalyst for associated industries. Information from various parties has been brought together, taking location as a basis to produce a better understanding of the links between a range of subjects. This form of cooperation has promoted the exchange of knowledge between the government, science and businesses, demonstrating the map's added value.